Let's talk about LightGBM. This is another important gradient boosting library that came out in 2017, and I put the link for the original paper here. In this section, I will talk about two main contributions. The first one is called gradient-based one-site sampling. This method puts more focus on undertrained part of the dataset, and we try to learn those more aggressively. The second contribution is called exclusive feature bundling (EFB). This is an efficient representation for sparse features such as one hundred encoded features, and with this we are able to reduce the total number of features that we are dealing with. Let's start with the first contribution: gradient-based one-site sampling. As I said, the main idea is to put more focus or importance on the undertrained part of the dataset. How do we do that? We can look at the gradients, and that will give us some idea about the importance of those data points. Small gradients mean that we have some small errors for those data points, and it means that we learn those data points very well. Large gradients mean that we have large errors for those data points, and we didn't really learn those data points. With this algorithm. We will try to learn these large gradient data points more aggressively. We will do that with this algorithm here. We have the parameters a and b. We will first sort the data points according to their absolute gradient values. Then we will keep the top a fraction of the data. That will become our large gradient data points. Then we will randomly sample b fraction of the data from the rest of the data set, and that will correspond to small gradient data points. And overall, we will use this data set to train our model. When we are doing this, we are kind of changing the data distribution. In order to uh, compensate for that effect, we will amplify the small gradients with the scalar here when we are calculating our information gain. Let's talk about the second improvement: exclusive feature bundling (EFB). This is a nice way to reduce the total number of features by taking advantage of some sparsity of our large datasets. When we observe our datasets, we sometimes realize that we have lots of zeros in these datasets, whether they can be one hundred encoded features or they can come maybe from some imputations. We sometimes put zero, for example, for missing values, but we always have those zeros, and this algorithm is taking advantage of that. When we look closely, we can sometimes see that these features are never non-zero at the same time. Therefore, we can merge or bundle some of them to save some space. Let's use an example to explain this idea. Assume that I have these three features, feature one, two, and three, and I will look at each row in these features to see whether they are non-zero at the same time. Okay, so let's focus on this, these feature one and two here. So in the first row we have zero and one, so it passes. In the second row we have zero zero, it passes. In this row, however, they are overlapping, so it's not going to work. We cannot really merge them. With this row it works; they are both zero. With this five zero it works; we can merge them. And the last one is zero zero again; it works, but because of this row here, we cannot merge them. There is this overlap there. Let's look at feature one and three. This time it works because we don't have that overlap. So let's go through the rows. Zero two it works. Zero zero it works. One zero it works. Zero three works. Two zero works, and zero seven works. So we can merge them. So let's merge and bundle them. There is also one thing to be careful about this process because we also don't want them to be in the same range. For example, in feature. One and three, we have this two as the common value here, so they are the same values. So we need to add plus one here to make sure that they are in different ranges. And with that, we can bundle these features. And as you see, we have this feature one and feature three as a standalone feature or column. In this case, I put the color coding here to show you these features. And we can also make a sample query in this bundle. If the value is larger than two, in this case, it refers to feature three. 